Hi guys, welcome to the channel, and yes, today is a special edition because we've teamed up with one of the best players in the world. AST at the time of filming was ranked number one in the world, and at the end of the season finished in the top ten. Guys, that is amazing, and he has shared his attack strategy with us that he's been using in the Legend League to get into the top ten players in the world. We're going to check it out today. I'm going to try it out. Let's try and make it simple. Break it down. It is La Loon with Lightning, guys. All the top players are using sort of that or hybrid, Hogminer hybrid. So we need to learn these attacks. And what's better than learning from one of the best players in the world, guys? Moving forward, we're going to be working with some other top players. So do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the Samus army to make sure you don't miss anything so let's jump into some replays look at the army competition and see how to use this awesome attack strategy let's go kaboom so here's the first replay then guys first replay is asked second replay me and then third replay back to him so let's check out the army composition first that's really important obviously and i have put the army composition in the video description by the way as well so do check that out so anyway your troops are going to be two archers five wall breakers 28 balloons one baby dragon eight minions including mike the minion three lava hounds and two headhunters your spells they're going to be seven lightning spells one earthquake spell and three haste spells donate clan castle troops will either be nine balloons or five balloons and one dragon your siege machine is normally going to be a battle blimp or a stone slammer and there you go guys let's see how the top player does it ast so it's really effective against these sort of anti three star bases with a town hall on the edge centralized town hall bases as well it works perfectly against those but it just takes a bit more planning so guys let's learn together let's see how it's done so guys the first stage of the attack is planning. If you plan effectively with this attack strategy, it makes it so much easier to use. We've got seven lightning spells and one earthquake spell. That is the first stage of the attack. Where are we going to use these? Your number one priority to take out is the clan castle, then the eagle artillery, then scatter shots, inferno towers, and the enemy queen. On this base, we can take out the clan castle and eagle artillery. A quick tip for you here, when you're using your earthquake spell, just try and position it so you take out the high value targets, but damage surrounding buildings as well. It just makes things easier further into the battle. Next stage of the attack, your heroes. You need to use your heroes effectively to take out high value targets. You're going to lose your heroes. Don't feel bad about that, guys. So we put the Royal Champion in over there on the left with the Headhunter to take out the enemy Royal Champion. We want her to get further into the base and take out that air defense. King and Queen at the bottom there. The King is taking all the damage and the Queen is clearing up the defenses. This is looking good. So we still haven't put in the main troop force yet. And we've taken out quite a large portion of the base. A quarter of the base has been taken out now. No clan castle, no eagle artillery. So look how much easier it is going to be to use this attack strategy now. So the Queen's, is she going to try and get into the base? No, she's going to keep walking around the edge there. And that air defense is just going to be out of range. The King ability used, but a wall breaker. This is where the wall breakers are really important. And this is sort of one part of the attack people struggle with. Using those wall breakers to help the heroes into the base to take out high value targets. Now the Queen can take out that air defense, which is massive. And can she take out that Inferno Tower? It's going to be close, but we've got the Queen ability, so yes, there we go. And now look at the base. Sort of the left-hand side of the base, nearly half of the base is gone, so we can just funnel the rest of our troops in, and they're going to naturally go towards that town hall. So this attack is beautiful, guys, and it's all about the preparation work with the heroes and the lightning spells and the earthquakes. Well, and you're going to use this attack strategy and go away, and you're going to struggle, guys, initially. It's all about practice. But these top, top attack strategies require practice, guys. You know, I had plenty of one-star attacks using these, but I had some beautiful three-star attacks as well, which I will show you one of them in the next replay. So here we go, Grand Warden ability. Save those balloons over the enemy town hall. And now it's just clean-up time, really. A few minions over there. And that is Mike the Minion in the top corner. You can't see him. He uh, He's slightly larger than the other minions and uh, more intimidating. Mike the Minion, he's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, guys, look how easy this three-star attack looks. I know it wasn't, and it was all about the planning. And that's what people struggle with, the planning. Where do I use my lightning spells? That's pretty easy to do that part of the attack, but it's about the heroes and the funnel to create for your troops later on. It's all about pathing. It's the same with Hog Miner Hybrid. But as you can see, this just looks really easy. Loads of balloons left. Grand Warden's there, even a dragon. And there's Mike the Minion. There you see, he is bigger than the other minions on the left there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's how the professionals do it. Let's see how I got on with it against the centralised town hall base. It isn't going to be as pretty, guys. Definitely not. But it just shows that I can do this. 
as well. And like I said, I'm just being totally honest, there were plenty of fails on my part, but practice made me better at it. And it doesn't matter if you get sort of a two-star attack high percentage, that's great. You're not going to three-star all the time. But the most important thing is practice, guys. So on this base, we want to take out the clan castle. Like I said, that's a high-value priority target. And we can take out the enemy queen as well. And hopefully, that inferno tower... And if we time it right, maybe even the scatter shot. I'm just waiting for the queen to walk around, guys. You know, uh, this is part of the problem with lightning spells. You need to wait for the queen to be in the right place. There we go. Seven spells down really quickly. I've never put lightning spells down as quickly in my life. And then I'm thinking, where can we put the earthquake spell down to take out, as, make as much damage to other buildings? There we go. I probably would have been better putting it over to the left. There we go. Look how much damage and destruction we cause to the enemy base. That's perfect. And now at this point, I'm thinking, oh, what do I do now? And this is where you'll learn where to put in your heroes. I'm going to put the king in over there. Um, and then your super super wall breakers would be a good shout in this army if you can use them. But I'd say use normal wall breakers. Learn with the normal troops. It will make you better at it. So I should really put in the wall breakers now. Here we go. Yes. And this is the second most important part of the attack. Getting your heroes into the base. If the king and queen didn't go into the base there, we would have no chance of getting three styles, I don't think. But they're in the base now and they can cause destruction. Use the king ability when you need it. And the queen there can take out some important targets. Then we're going to put in the rule champion over there on the left. I've used the ability nice and early. Don't be afraid of using the ability early. It's uh, quite a good tactic and a lot of top players do, do use that. And we need to take out that air defense, but we just didn't manage. But the king and queen are still going. And we still haven't used the main army yet. Just beware. Don't... Um, don't run out of time, guys, but if you get to this point in the attack, it's really good. Things are going well. We've nearly taken out a third of the base. High value targets, no clan castle. So, yeah, we're going to put a lava hound in there. A few balloons, there we go. Lava hound down there, a few balloons. And then, what siege machine are we going to use? Against the centralized town hall, the battle blimp's probably the best choice, but you get more value out of the stone slammer, of course. So, I'm confident the troops are going to make it to the town hall. So, we're going to go. With a stone slammer, guys, yes. On another day, the stone slammer might have just flown by the town hall and we would have got one star. But I was confident that the troops are going to go to that town hall. There we go. And we've got the Grand Warden ability. Get ready to use it. We don't want to lose all those balloons. And yes, we've uh, protected a few balloons. Town hall's down. And guys, if you didn't see Kaboom in the top right corner, you might actually think this was a decent attack. Yeah. So it looks pretty good, doesn't it? And this, you know, when it does work, guys, it works magnificent. I can't it magnificently. It really does. And there's Mike the Minion. There he is. You can see him over there on the right. Just uh, coming into the battle now. And there we go, guys. There we go. This is how it can work. And it does take practice. Um, like I said, do some friendly challenges in your clan. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. Centralized town hall bases are trickier. Uh, the town hall's on the edge of the map. You can sometimes take them out with your king and queen, which really helps. So on to our last replay today so here we go what i was just saying town hall on the edge of the map these i won't say these are easy to take out with this attack strategy but as soon as you can take out the town hall guys it just makes things so much easier so where are we going to use these lightning spells and earthquake spell let's have a look so we've got the uh, clan castle there okay few expos around it and you've got that uh, inferno tower on multi just below so as you can see ast asked takes his time which is fine. If you're going to be one of the best players out there, you need to take your time. And look at that. Beautiful. So, three expos gone. And an air defense. And the clan castle. That's how you do it. There is a skill to take to using these lightning spells and earthquake spells. There really is. You need to sort of look and think, what targets can I take out? Where's the earthquake spell? What's the radius of that? So here we go. So the king's in there causing carnage. No clan castle troops to worry about. And the queen and baby dragon are getting things done. And she is now going to take out that town hall. You've got a couple of um, free spells as well to use, guys, if you need them. But the queen didn't need it there. And that's, you know, you're guaranteed two stars now, pretty much, guys. You just need to have a look at the where the uh, air sweepers are pointing. We're all champions going in. This is the part people struggle with. Where do I send her in to take out high-value targets? Can she take out that multi-inferno? It's going to be close. Yes, she can. She can't take out a scatter shot as well, can she? No. So there we go. 18% of the base, one star achieved, and in they come now, the Lava Hounds. There's Larry the Lava Hound at the top. Mike the Minions in early. There's the Royal Champion, some balloons. Deployment of the balloons. I, I had a chat with uh, Ast, and he was saying that he likes putting them, putting enough balloons down to take out the targets. I mean, people, you see people you're normally putting them in sort of clumps of three or four balloons to take out targets. With the uh, Lava Hounds first, they go for the air defences. 
Use the haste spells to get those troops into the base. Grand Warden ability, protect against multi-infernos and scatter shots especially are really nasty. And obviously, like I said earlier, the Stone Slammer, you get so much value out of the Stone Slammer. So if you can use the Stone Slammer, I mean, on a base like this, we didn't need to worry about the Town Hall. The only time you wouldn't really use a Stone Slammer is a centralised Town Hall where you're worried about nobody going to the Town Hall. But the Stone Slammer really helps. It's like an extra Lava Hound, the amount of damage you can take. Look at those Wall Breakers, guys. We've got a Wall Breaker attack on the left there. Boom! Yes. And it just looks, you know, so easy, doesn't it? And guys, just a quick reminder that on this channel we've got something called a Creator Code. It's where you can help support the channel in-game if you enter Creator Code Moose. Just go to Settings, scroll down more, Settings, scroll down, Support a Creator, Enter Code Moose. And it just means if you spend any money in-game, it helps support the channel. I've also put a link in the video description just above the Army Composition Summary where you click that and it does it all for you guys. Any support would be absolutely Awesome. So there we go, Mike the Minion and his friends getting the three stars. Yes, guys. So I hope you've learned something today. Let me know what you think in the video comments. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this of top players, top attacks, and let's learn them together. This is Samu signing out. Pleasure as always. I'll catch you later.